My connection is that my great-grandfather, Ernest Edward Archer, was an able seaman who was signed on to the Titanic. So he sailed from Southampton? He sailed from Southampton. Um, he'd worked for White Star Line for about five years and they, of course they, they put their most experienced crews onto the Titanic. What would, what would he have been doing on board? Um, Basically, he uh, he was an able seaman, deck hand, so keeping the decks clean and tidy, whatever you know, a deck hand does. <laughs> and then the ship struck an iceberg. Yes, um, he said in the um, his testimony at the uh, American Inquiry that he was in his bunk at the time, and uh, that he put a pair of trousers on and went up onto the deck to see what was going on saw some ice on the deck and then sort of um, went down put some more warm clothing on and then um, was directed to helping passengers into lifeboats. Um, he helped passengers into three different lifeboats and the last one, number 16, when the lifeboat was full, which was mostly uh, women and children. He was then directed by an officer, never named, um, to get into the lifeboat because they had to have a crew member, or more than one, to assist with the rowing. So of course he was lowered down and uh, therefore survived. Did he, did he remember, did he ever talk about what it was like as they were rowing away? He must have seen the ship go down. Um, as far as I I know all that was said in the family was that it was so cold that his hands stuck to the oars. Um, but apparently he, he didn't actually talk about the disaster very much. I mean, he, he gave evidence at both the inquiries, although the British inquiry was fairly minimal. Um, so... So he was called up to London for the inquiry in London? Yes, after he'd come back from the New York one. But uh, I, I don't know much more about it than that. And when he got back to Southampton, did he, did he, did he continue working? Oh yes, he continued working for White Star Line. Um, and then he unfortunately died in 1917 from tuberculosis which the family story goes that was brought on by the shock of the disaster well not in the view of what we know these days but um, at that time he may have still been working for White Star Line indirectly but because it was during the First World War he was on transport ships presumably taking men backwards and forwards to the front in France. He just, I think, looked upon going to sea as a job, and if you got shipwrecked, well, that was something that occasionally happened. But the thing was that when my grandfather, his eldest son, um, was going out, going out to work, which would have been sort of um, about 1914, 1915, he said he didn't want him to go to sea because he said the life was too hard, so he had him apprenticed in the dockyard instead, um, which might have saved my grandfather's life, you know, so... On, on the basis that that would be an easier life than <laughs> working in yes. the dockyards would be, yeah. Mm, so so your, your great-grandfather saves, undoubtedly saved people's lives. Yes, he did. Well, because that that was his job, you know, to to help with the lifeboats and that. So, uh, 